Sorry about that. Uh, Nick Cage. It was a bad night for Nick Cage. Sorry. Um, so, oh, hey, I want to talk about Synergy. So this is an oldie but a goodie. Something I used actually on this very setup like years and years and years and years ago. It was free at the time. It's not anymore. And, and I kind of, I was inspired because um, um, the great people at Work Hard Pittsburgh, they were setting up some service space for a project I was working on. And I, I'm, I'm watching as he goes from his mouse from a Windows computer to like three uh, Ubuntu screens above it which is just like awesome and just kind of, it feels like a hacker movie, right? Um, you know, command lining and all that stuff, you know, and uh, I, thought, I thought in like hacker movies, everything was in 3d. And yeah, it was like I you, know. You fly through the file. I systems. know. And then you have Penn Teller there to explain everything that's going on <laughs> and, and, and that sort of thing. I mean, that's, 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 that's how it is. That was time. him, wasn't it? Cause he's not read. He's not listed on IMDb. He's not. No. Oh, that's, that's he doesn't get credit for that because I, I was like, that's Penn. And I look it up and he it's was like, all over eh. that thing. Yeah, no. His stage name or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he, he, his name's not in there. Um, Pendulette. Pendulette. That's the mm-hmm. name. Not, they call him Penn Teller. Jeez, what am I thinking? Um, but, but like, I saw him do that. I'm like, wow, how he's doing that. And then I'm like, wait, I had a software that did exactly that. And for whatever reason, like, it kind of got kludgy and stopped working. Um, so I went back to it. I remember the name. It's Synergy. Um, S-Y-N-E-R-G-Y. Synergy-project.org. And, and I went to check it. I'm like, I need to go back to that. And I thought I had that thought. And during Awesome Cast last week, I went on this site, realized you had to buy it. I didn't even think twice about it. I dropped the 10 bucks on this thing. And and you're good to go. It does Mac. It does uh, uh, Windows. Apparently, Windows XP, from the looks of things, are around here in the studio. Um, so Mac, Windows, Linux, you're good to go. And and as you know, Chilla, I have all three right mm-hmm. here on this desk. I, I haven't installed it on the Linux machine yet, though. Um, or I could have installed it on the one in front of you because that's actually supposed to be a chat machine. Um, but uh, but no, it, it's completely worth it if you you have some kind of insane uh, bonkers setup like I have for my podcast studio. Um, because I mean, you you know, I have like a mouse hiding back here. That's for this computer up here. That I don't need a lot, but sometimes I do. I need to go set something up or move it to the chat window or or something. Or this one here has like minimal space. I got keyboards all over the place. I'm I'm pulling this drawer out so I can I can I can write something over on the Mac over here if need be. And it's just it's just obscene. Okay. So, yeah. So one of the tricks to this, and I'm going to do a, a, a piss poor job of explaining this, but bear with me. So one of the tricks to Synergy is that you write, you're sharing a mouse and keyboard, right? But you're using the monitor that's plugged in to every one of the computers. So you actually have to have the devices somewhat physically close, right? Because you right. have to have right. all the monitors surrounding you. So the real trick is, what do you do when you have computers in other rooms? Because I ran into this issue in my house. Why would you do that? So so here's here's the trick. Wait, 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 wait. Are you uh, hold on, hold on. I wait I think because I'm 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 not wrapping my head around exactly what you're getting at here. Now we know that you have a home automated the crap out of your house. So if you had like so in the basement I have a server that runs, right? You but, have a server. I have sir oh I have multiple servers all over the place that run, but um but so it so for instance, you and you're in in the office upstairs, right? There's a mini up there, isn't there? Right, right. And I have the Drobos on there. All the all the all the backup files for all the projects are on there, and that's all backing up the backblaze, and it's, it's good to go. Right. So what I actually did was on some different systems was because the, the now that mach, those machines are physically in other rooms, mm-hmm. and let's just say you wanted to kind of spread other machines across other monitors. So what I actually did was <clears throat> I would remote in to the machine and bring up the screen and machines that were on different floors, like say it was the floor above you, I would make it where you went up because you can control where you have to tell it like what's to the what monitors to the left, what monitors to the right. Right, right. You kind of you, you have that layout and yeah. and you should see mine. Mine's like an L right now. Okay. <laughs> So I would make it anything that was down in the basement or upstairs. Mm -hmm. You would go to one of the the far left or far right computer and then go up or down. So so, and then it would show up to put this to to the virtual window of that machine. Right. So to think about that, so you virtually logged in this machine, so it's like taking over your screen, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to 
pull your so you're not just like I, I go up, it goes to the monitor above the monitor that this is at. I go left, it goes to this monitor, this monitor, this monitor over here. I'm pointing to them as if you guys can see them, you know, um, <laughs> versus versus oh, if you're sitting in your living room and your mouse goes up, you know in your head that's a machine that's sitting upstairs. Mm-hmm. And this is ex- extremely um, useful for the machine locks up and the only thing you can do is like control alt delete and you know the cursor key arrows to get to the restart menu <laughs> it's completely useful for that because you can't get the screen you can't remote into it because the port's down for remote access mm-hmm. but you know that if you move your mouse up on this screen it control alt delete you know the behavior right you know right, the key code yeah. you know the behavior you can kind of work your guess, way through it guesstimate it right yeah. Terry, you're following along with this because I'm I'm half lost That's myself. That's very creative. <laughs> but it, the 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 usefulness of it, of of this application is just shy of seven shifts. <laughs> I'm I'm impre- I really I mean that's like. You take something that's already useful and make it useful in a completely different way than what was probably originally intended. So, when I think this was originally I mean, used for like developers. Yeah, that's oh, where yeah. I saw it first. I, that's the biggest thing. Well, like this guy, like he's a networking admin guy, so he has all the things going on. Um, you know, like one Ubuntu is a desktop; the other is just a command prompt where he can go in and he and I saw him. I I, I loved it, and I, and, and I, I was rather proud of myself. I knew some of the commands he was using. I'm like, I know exactly what he's doing in there. I just don't know how his server set up. Um, um, you know, in the freaking Linux, mm-hmm. right? Not DOS like I grew up on. Um, but then again, I've had that Ubuntu installation. It didn't work out so well, and I had to try to key around it, right? Um, but uh, but uh, no, in that like I said, it kind of inspired me because I'm like, yeah, I, I I forgot that easy way to do it. Um, but and also for you know production people, you know, I got to think, you know, um, um, you know. For for video, having a big or multiple monitors is important, and maybe you have something where uh, you're doing the editing on this, but you throw everything to this computer over here so you can run the processes, mm-hmm. you know? Um, probably even so for 3D artists that have, like, maybe a server farm to send things to if they need to get over to that server and, and do something there, and maybe they throw up a monitor to keep an eye on it. Um, and I'm pretty sure it works that way. I'm not a 3D guy myself. I just know that know some. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's or just that computer that's over um, on your TV, you know, that is your media server. Mm-hmm. And 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 instead of you, know, you always have your laptop anyways. Uh, so so when I kick over, and, and we've used other things in the past, like um, um, what was the the mouse one? Um, it was an app. I'll never remember it now. Uh, but it was an app on my phone, and I think I paid for it too. Uh, and and it would help me. It, it would just turn this into a trackpad to to use on any computer. It, but it worked over Wi-Fi. It worked That's, over Wi-Fi. My, one thing that I um, like. I know what you're talking.